These new one-click DeepSeek AI agents are absolutely insane. So what you can see here is a brand new workflow I've been working from. And it's all set up with where you can basically just plug in a message and it will automate a whole workflow for you from step by step. Now I'm going to explain exactly what's going on here, how it works. But one of the most important parts of this process is that we actually have a human in the loop method for approving and then creating the feedback loops inside our AI agent process. So let me show you exactly what I mean step by step. So inside here, for example, you can see we are actually using DeepSeek and you can use a free API from Open Router inside here. I'll show you how to set it up in a second. And this is on a platform called N. Now inside NA10, you can actually build AI agent workflows that connect to apps. So for example, this is connected to our Gmail. Then we've got different AI agents, like a research agent, an introduction agent, an agent for rewriting content, like you can see right here. And step by step, this is going to go off and do its magic for us, right? Now, what you also see inside this section over here is we have a research agent. Each of these agents inside the workflow has different functions. So what I'm trying to do in this workflow, and you can apply this to anything that you're trying to automate inside your business. I think it's, it's really good for you to see the power of NA10 and how you can set this up. But essentially, what we're trying to do here is automate the process of creating video transcripts for our YouTube channels. For example, inside my YouTube channel here, we create avatar videos with my AI functionality like this. This is not me, this is an AI. And this is 18 minutes long, you've got 26,000 views. So I was like, why don't we use that process to create a really nice transcript inside NA10? Uh, we can basically automate the whole workflow with DeepSeek and one click, step by step. So. First of all, what I'm going to show you is how the workflow runs step by step and how it goes. So if we go inside the chat over here and we say, okay, here's my video title. So I'm going to just put the robots, right? New AI meta robots from partner. And what this is going to do step by step is trigger the workflow. So just by typing in and one click in that title is now going to send that over to the research agent. And the research agent is basically doing the research on the internet live to figure out, okay, what can we talk about in this process? Then we've got the introduction agent. So this is going to write the introduction for our video so that we can automate that. And now we have a process where the research agent has given the research to the introduction agent. The introduction agent has written it, sent it over to this feature right here. I'll explain it in a minute. And now we can approve the content that's come into the script before we go any further in the workflow. Right. And this is great for any sort of workflows where you need like a human sort of feedback loop to give and improve the content that you create inside your AI agents process. So essentially what this Gmail functionality here is doing is it's asking me to approve the email of the content we just produced. So you can see we get an email to our inbox. It says approval required as please approve this introduction before we carry on. And so we've got the introduction for our video and you can see this is actually using real data to create the content. Now this video transcript itself is pretty cool. And then if we click on respond here, we can actually give a response on whether this is approved or not. And then depending on whether the transcript is approved, if it's approved, it will go to the AI agent for creating content. And if it's declined, then it will go to the rewriting agent, which is then going to feed that back into the feedback loop to improve the process. So if this is approved, great, send it to the next stage. If it's not approved, Let's make sure we improve it with another agent until it finally is good to go. And the actual content itself is written really nicely using DeepSeek as well. So if we look at this introduction, this is better than I could come up with on the spot. And you can see here it says, hey everyone, today I'm gonna blow your mind with something that's about to change the game forever. Imagine robots working side by side with humans like their best friends. Sounds crazy, right? Meta just dropped something called partner and trust me, it's massive. This isn't just about robots. It's about making them smarter, faster, and way more helpful than you have thought possible than you ever thought possible. Now, Partner really only got announced like a few days ago, right? So this is based on recent data, this research process. The way that we come up with the data is we use this model right here, Open Router Chat model, we use it in Perplexity Sonar. Now, Sonar is a pretty amazing API where you could build your own generative search capabilities, right? And it's using real-time research from the internet to figure that out. And it's pretty cheap, it's very quick to use. And for doing research inside your AI agents, this is one of the best things you could possibly insert. So now we can say, okay, is this approved or not? So let me pull up an example right here. So you can see the process in real time right here. As you can see, this AI agent workflow afterwards is not complete. I just wanna show you how powerful this can be as a feedback loop, first of all. 
And so if we go to our email for approval from NA10, if you like it, you can say approved. And if we hit submit, so what that's going to do is approve it and send it to the next stage of the workflow. So it's using a text classifier to figure that out along with DeepSeek. So it's analyzing the response from us and then it sends it over to this process right here. Now, if this is declined, let me show you an example. So if we go to the chat and we'll run the workflow again and say it's declined. And just one thing to note here is inside our AI agents as well, we have these two agents linking directly to OpenRoot over here. So if we go back to our emails now, now we just need to say, okay, remove the CTAs from the content, hit submit, and that's going to decline the workflow and send it through to our rewriting agent like you can see. And so we create like a feedback loop where we can reset the whole process based on the feedback we've given the AI agent. So it can rewrite the content and then we're good to go on that. Is put it through the rewriting agent. The rewriting agent is on a green tick. So that's worked successfully. Then it's send it over to the edit field section. And now we have a new set of content to approve. So you can see this has just come through a minute later, 10.49 a.m. versus 10.48 a.m. And that's the new content to approve. So if you ever want to stop the workflow when you're testing it, just click stop. And I'll explain exactly how this process works step by step. All right, the workflow begins when we set up the new chat message. If we delete that, we'll hide the chat. To trigger this whole workflow, you just click on chat. And by the way, if you want the whole blueprint from me from today, we'll click download on this. And inside the SAP section of the AI Profit Boardroom, I'm going to add a new page called DeepSeek NA10 Agents and we'll upload the blueprint from this agent workflow right there. So if you want to just import it and copy and steal it from me, you can inside the AI Profit Boardroom in the SAP section. Additionally, this comes with weekly coaching calls from me. So if you have any problems as you go along, feel free to ask me on the weekly coaching calls. And like I was saying, this process, we start with a chat. That's how we trigger the message. Then inside here, we've got the research agent. The research agent is essentially going to go off and research this particular topic. All right. So if we put meta AI robots into the chat, the research agent will use Perplexity's API using Sona to research that topic. That's going to feed into the introduction agent. And you can see here that we have connected the chat model to the API from DeepSeek R1 Distilled Llama. Now, honestly, for writing content, I would say DeepSeek Chat 2.5 is good. Chat is good as well. Whatever you want to use here. If you type in DeepSeek, once you've set up your open router account, then you get access to all these other models as well. So you even get Quen Distilled R1. Chat is probably the best for writing. I also like Claude 3.5 Sonnet as well. And then inside the introduction agent, let me show you the prompts we're using. So we've got a system prompt and we have a user prompt, right? So if we click this right here, this is going to open up the prompt in full screen. So you can see what we're saying here. So we're saying topic, see the content from this website. Also, don't ask me any questions, just write the content. Don't mention title or teaser, just write the script, nothing else. Do not say title. The reason that we're saying that is because when we're using this process, I don't want like any notes. I want it to be able to just go straight into my AI avatar video creator. By the way, tons of training inside the AI profit boardroom for that as well. And using that process, we can easily create the introduction for our transcript. Now, we don't want to create the full transcript because we want to make sure the AI agent has written the introduction first. And then we can go step by step into the rest of this process. Now, the key of this is really having a solid process for the system message. All right. So this is the user prompt that's dynamic each time. And this is a system message that stays the same each time. It's like a custom GPT, but it's plugged into the rest of the workflows. So it's more like an AI agent. And you can imagine here that you've got a team working together, right? So you've got the research agent working alongside the introduction agent, and then you have the rewriting agent that's working with the human feedback I give to the process. And so inside the introduction agent, inside the system message, we've said you're my video transcript agent, aim for 15 to 20 minutes per video, use the topic in the first line, which is dynamic each time. So that's fed in from the chat. So if we say, talk about AI robots, then this is fed into the user prompt above. Then from here, we said, create an amazing four to six line teaser for my video, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Everything else is good to go on that. Now that's going to go into a email set module right here. Now you might be wondering, okay, what is that? So this is edit field set and you manually map. And this is great when you've got two different agents feeding into one place. Cause what it's going to do is take the previous output from the process. All right. And then send it to Gmail for approval. So this module right here, the Gmail one, 
This is actually a human in the loop module. So if you go to add module inside NA10, and by the way, if you're not familiar with all the basics on NA10, check out my other videos on YouTube about this. It'll talk you through step-by-step step how to do it. But essentially you can add like apps, agents, etc. inside NA10, link them together. And these arrows show you exactly what's linked together and how. So if we go inside the nodes here and we click on human in the loop, you can see that we can approve manually the content we've got so far from the introduction agent, Gmail or Google chat, Slack or Telegram. I think Telegram would be great, but I also think that Telegram has a character limit. So that's why I focus on Gmail instead. And now that's going to connect to our text classifier. All right. So this will send an email to my emails like you saw earlier in the workflow. We can approve or we can say no to that. And then inside the text here, this basically sets a filter. So if the script is approved, it goes to the next part of the workflow. If it's declined, it goes to the rewrite agent and that fires it back over to the set field for human approval. Now, if we go to the text classifier, we've got two different options here. So we've got a category for approved, which means that we've approved the process, like it looks good to go, whatever. And then we've also got the option for declined. And if we open this up, the AI agent knows this is declined. Now this is linked to AI as well. So you can see here, the model is linked down to open router using deep seek as well to figure out, okay, is this declined or is this approved? Are we good to go on that? And we can send it over or does it need more improvement? And then finally, we've got the rewriting agent. So the rewriting agent is also linked to DeepSeek and it's linked to this module over here. So you can actually link multiple chat models from the AI agents to the same AI, like you can see. And the instructions for this are basically take my feedback, which is the human feedback I give via email, improve the script, which you can see right here. And then you can also get the research for the script as well, damn it. And then if we open up the prompt for this, it's you're an AI powered script improver. Your job is to enhance the provided script based on human feedback improve clarity, accuracy, structure, and alignment with the requested focus whilst maintaining natural readability. Boom. All right. And that's basically the whole process. And it's absolutely mind blowing. Like I only started using this probably, I would say about two or three weeks ago, and it felt really complicated. Now it feels like you can build anything that's personalized to you in literally a few hours. And it's a lot of fun as well. It's so much fun building out these feedback loops. So if you want to get all my best trainings and SAPs, on you can get that inside the ai profit boardroom just type in na10 once you join and you'll see all these different workflows right here additionally if you want to get the actual template from today just go down to the sap section and then go to deep seek na10 agents and you can download the feedback loop method right there really good for creating content because obviously content creation if you post it without checking it using ai it could be hallucinated it can have facts wrong and that's why you need a human in the loop feedback method like this. And hopefully it just gets approved in one click. But if not, you give it the feedback, you can improve it and then review it again once it's done. Additionally, if you want to jump on calls with me weekly, you'll get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom, along with a community of 124 members, like you can see. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to put that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building, or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to 10x the SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients, like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.